Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com Today I'm bringing the hit by a car effect all up in your face in CyberLink PowerDirector 11 Ultimate Let's get into it people! Aight, aight, aight Be safe at all times, aight? If you're gonna get hit by a car, you don't really wanna get hit by a car Might end up with one leg, you know, bad arm you know, bruised up booty, whatever. You don't want none of that, okay? So, if you're going to get hit by a car, use a video effect to do it, alright? Now, first things first. You need to use the tripod when doing this. So, you want your whole shot to, your whole shot to stay steady. You're going to need a clip of you or your talent in the street where the car is going to go by, just doing nothing. You're going to need a clip of a car going by that same exact you know spot leave the tripod in the same place don't turn your video camcorder off just leave it running the whole time so that the lighting and everything stays about the same and then you just need to create alright let's get creative alright first thing you want to do is you want to bring your clips down into the timeline I have my clip here of talent standing in the street then I have a clip of car driving by Alright, so on the first clip with the talent standing in the street, you have to create a PNG transparent image of just the individual in the street. So what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and drag your clip to a position where the individual is standing still getting ready to get hit by the car. And you want to go ahead and hit take a snapshot of the video. So once you do that, you can name it what you want to. It's going to go into your documents folder under CyberLake Power Director 11. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. And as a matter of fact, I'm not going to create the uh, PNG image because I have a video that will show you how to do that. The link is in the description to this video. And the link's also in the annotation right now. Alright? Use that damn link. Watch that damn video. And make your damn transparent image. Now once you do make your transparent image, what happens is, I have it right here, basically any video showing that's in the black area will show up and just this individual of, you know, the picture of the person is going to be in the video. So why that's needed is because right here where I have nothing in the video, I'm going to put my little person right there and then when the car comes by, we're going to make that person move with the car and get hit. Alright, so, got our first video, individual just standing there, alright, and then it just stops, right where you're standing is where I took the photo, so exactly where you put the photo, you want to drag the PNG image right below that, so that there's no change, it just looks like he's standing there, and nothing changes except the background disappears, alright, so just keep in mind if you took the snapshot like right here like where the scrubber is right now you would have to split your clip here and move the picture right to where the end of the video is it has to be right at the end wherever you took your snapshot is where you should put your snapshot that you created of your PNG image alright they should be right touching each other next thing you want to do is you want to take your video clip of the car driving by and put it right next to the clip of the individual that's standing there and right above your PNG image what that does is it actually makes it look like the individual is standing there and he's still standing there once I go to the next clip see he's still standing there because I have the PNG image right on top of this one so it makes it look like he's still standing there beautiful but the problem is now, when the car goes by, it just goes right behind the person standing there. We don't want that. Alright, we want the person to move with the damn car. Like the damn guy got hit by the damn car. Alright, so let's fix that. First things first. For my video, the speed of the car driving by is not really that fast. So if I hit play, you see the car is going by kind of fast, but not fast enough to pull the effect off so I need to speed that up so I'm gonna click on a clip of the individual driving and I'm gonna go to power tools 
And once I'm in power tools, I'm going to click on video speed. For my video, I'm going to bring the video speed up to about three. You might need more or less than that. So I leave it up to you. Bring it up to whatever speed you want. So now that I have the video speed on three, I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now when I play it, you'll see the car goes by a lot faster. I like that. I like that. All right. Now we have to create the illusion that the individual got hit by the car. So I'm going to click on the PNG image that I have at the bottom. And I'm going to go to modify. Once I'm here, I need to change two things. And I need to use keyframes to do it. So the first thing I need to change is the motion. And then I have the rotation. So I'm going to activate the motion and the rotation. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch my timeline all the way out. Okay, because I want to see each frame. And some of these frames are going to be really close to one another. So you stretch it out so you can see each one. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the zoom out button because in order for me to actually rotate it I need to have this little green dot up here so I can rotate it and left click on it and move it so I couldn't see that when it was zoomed all the way in so I'm gonna zoom it out a little bit so I'm gonna click on the play button bring the car into view and I'm gonna click pause now that I see the car I'm gonna step frame by frame until it gets to a point where it's going to hit him. Now it's about to hit this guy. It's going to be in for a hurting. It's cruising for a bruising. Make sure these are activated here. Zoom that back out. And now when I step through a frame where it goes past the individual, like right there, I'm going to rotate him. You rotate it how much you want to, and I'm going to move them right to the edge of the car. Where it looks like he's getting hit. I'm going to go to the next frame. And once again, I'm going to rotate my individual a little bit more. Move them to the edge of the car again. I'm going to step forward another frame. Do the same thing. Rotate them a little bit more. And move them to the front of the car. So you keep doing that. Rotating them and moving them over each position. Make sure you stay on the front of the car so it looks like he's getting hit. Well, I'm 10 feet out in front of the car. Like he, I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to look like the car hit him and knocked him way off into the freaking scene somewhere. That would be kind of cool too. I mean, you can do whatever you want with this. It's like, use your own individuality, you know, own innovation. Make it yours. Make it truly your own. So now I'm kind of going to drag the guy off the scene to make him disappear. Now, the issue is, if you go to the last keyframe by clicking on select next keyframe, it automatically create a keyframe at the end for you guys back on the screen you don't want that so you need to right click on these right click on the rotation you don't really have to do the rotation one but you should right click on it and then do duplicate previous keyframe and it turns them exactly at the same position as the last time that I turned them and then you also want to right click on the motion keyframe and you want to do duplicate pre key previous keyframe and now, once again, the guy's off the screen. So now we've created the illusion that you were hit by a car. You go ahead and hit save. Now, one last thing you want to do. Because if I play it right now, it's going to look pretty cool. I mean, it look like a guy got hit, got blasted off the screen and everything. Okay? You should watch. Bam! He's gone. Damn it. That hurt. But... He's too, I guess the guy looks a little bit too fresh 
Doesn't look like anything really happened to him. It looked like he got moved off the screen, but doesn't look realistic enough. So, what you want to do is you want to bring your, your play hand or your scrubber right to the position where the guy first gets hit. And that's one more keyframe up, so I'm going to click next keyframe. Now what I want to do is split this clip. And the reason why, I'm going to split it right here. I mean, you didn't have to. You can use keyframes if you want for this next part. But I'm going to split the clip. And on the second part of the clip, I'm going to go to Effects Room. I'm going to grab the Blur Effect. And I'm going to bring it on top of this clip. Once I do that, you see he's real blurry. But he's too damn blurry. Look like he freaking... I don't know. Got burn up or something. So I'm going to click on effect. Alright. Because what this is going to do is I'm going to change the parameters of the blur effect. I click on effect. You see it's up to 5 degrees of blur. That's too much. I'm going to bring it down. When you start to bring it down it's going to tell you it's going to take out the keyframes. There are no keyframes anyway. It's just the same all the way across. So you click OK. And then you can bring your blur down to like one or two. Depends on where you want it. I think one is pretty good. Two is pretty smooth. I like that. So once you're done, you just close that out. And now once the guy get hit, the blur actually adds a element of reality to it because it makes it look like he's really got hit and there you go hit by a car effect baby cyberlink power director 11 ultimate brought to you by video editing software guy dot com you know how we do bringing you the effects you want to help you make your videos better now you guys know the routine all right few things you got to do simple request that I have of you the thumb the one that's pointed in the upward direction click it like it live it love it hug it show everybody out there that you like these videos you like the content that I bring to YouTube and all around the world and let the people know by clicking that like button leave me your comments I always get bad to you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction. I'll get you the help you need. It's, you know, it's a little, little something I like to do for my peoples. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.